Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms and Castles and this is an update video for the Merchants and Ports update. So we're going to start with a new game just to uh, get things started again. We've got our obviously our, our, our different levels here. We're going to stick with easy. Uh, for this we are looking at map sizes for starters. We have large now which is uh, really good and I want to go for something like an island sort of terrain because we can then oops let's just uh, have a look at that we can then basically build up our network of merchants and vehicles or boats going across there so I quite like the look of that one so I want to accept that all right so let's place our first oops I forget how to control this first castle um, Obviously, we want somewhere that's got uh, our uh, stone and wood, and that's probably the best place to actually place them. So let's put our castle down here, and our keep, and uh, drop that there so we're not losing any resources. And then we can just get straight back into it. So I'll uh, play a bit off camera, and we'll be back in a moment with uh, a half-decent little village. Okay guys, we're back. Um, we have been uh, building up our little town uh, to a certain level uh, so that we could actually afford then to build a docks. So at this moment in time, well, let's get in a bit closer, go the right way would help. We have got um, a number of uh, resources stored there. Um, we can increase that uh, by just typing on here. Um, and we have currently got a transport boat now to get one of transport boats it's quite strange yeah you have to place it down as a fixed item like so and the uh, let me play this the guys will come along and build that and after it's built it will float away I think it's right really cool I think it's um yeah it's, <laughs> I really like that little feature so we currently have our uh, dock a boat on the dock um, and we let me just redo this so he's there we're going to add our next destination which is over here and we're going to say resource food drop off and we want 10 dropped off so close that off and there he is floating away going to deliver to our second dock now I've also built over here a outpost so when that was uh, built on the island it actually gave me a number of workers so i had four workers over here so there we go they're now offloading oh okay he doesn't want to offload uh, we'll see what happens with that in a minute um yeah so um We've got some work being able to do work over here. So I'm going to close that off because I've asked them to chop down this uh, route here so I can actually have some houses. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, start building our second town here. Uh, and we're basically just mining everything is what I'm planning to do on this side of things. So, oh, and there we go. There's our other feature. Uh, we have, hey, let me go on to here. So we've got all those resources in here. We can now click onto a visiting galley. There we go. On the merchant ship, and we can buy um, anything we want. Uh, the quantity we want to put in, say, four wood, let's buy for 10. So it's going to cost us 40. Hang on. Go on to, yeah, go on, or we can go on to sell and say, right, we want to sell 10 wood, and that will give us 20 um, gold coin. So. It can be useful if we've got a large stockpile, uh, but otherwise uh, it's uh, not necessarily a, uh, a requirement. But when you are trying to build up your army very quickly uh, and you don't have your blacksmiths, it's actually a really useful thing to do to actually buy your uh, armaments so that you don't actually have to... Uh, um, worry about that so early on in the game and now I did that after building these uh, and actually bought some armaments just so that I could actually get my troops together because uh, I had a nice little Viking attack that uh, my last set of troops got wiped out on 
and I just needed to have um, enough uh, armaments to be able to uh, uh, re-supply my, uh, my troops. So he's sailing away off into the distance. Goodbye. Right, okay, so what else have we got? Oops, let's pull back the right way. So what else is there in the game? Um, we've got our, in the actual um, maritime uh, menu, we have got our outpost, which costs us 100 wood, uh, 200 stone and 250 gold. Um, but that will obviously, because I can build one of those again. Let's go and jump into another area. That's uh, quite useful. Uh, that's full of stone. I love this. I love this new s snow effect. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's pop it down here, smack bang in the middle. Let's rotate it. So there we go. We've got our four workers around, and we've claimed this land, so we can start utilizing uh, and harvesting everything in the area. Obviously, these guys are going to be a bit upset because they haven't got anywhere to live. Oh, seagulls. Uh, let's just open up a bit more. So we can actually see what's around. Perfect. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's move our troops over here. Let's recruit. Nope, you need to be over here. Come on. There we go. So he is. How many more have we got? We've got eight plus more coming through. That's good. Okay. So, have we got enough cleared yet for a road? No, we have not. Come on, chop these. Okay, so there we've got a space for a road. And we can just do that. Then we can build our home over here. Come on. Now we can put it there. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, so, oops, cancel that. Ooh, come back out. So there we go, we claimed that land. We've got four people living over here. Um, we just put a bridge across here to claim this land. Um, and obviously you can put bridges potentially across later. Um, I think that uh, you can't go across deep water. So that's where it'll actually uh, make a difference. Let me show you what I mean. So go to the right thing, town, bridge. Ah, we can't go that way. Let's do it over here. So we've got we've got a path coming down here, have we? Nope. Let's pull back, pull back. Right. Okay. So let's just uh, get that chopped. Down. get that in place and then we'll just see what happens when you try and build a bridge across deep water and that's why you've, these come in really handy okay, come on so I'm not entirely sure we'll see what's going on with that later Okay, come on, speed you up. There we go, it's one more tree. Okay, so now we can build a bridge out. But we can't build over deep water. And if we look at a pier, we can build up to here, but we can't go out into deep water either. So that's where your boats, transport boats, come in really handy. Because there's no other way to get to the land over here. So let's have a look here. Let's put in power. Let's put in power. 
Aha. Come on. Alright. And then we can open this up again. Alright, so he's got desired... He's got... Uh, Ooh. He's got 102 food over there now. So that's what's going on. Basically, our boat is picking up 10 food and delivering it over there. And because for some reason the graphics aren't changing, I mean, we can set this again at destination. No, here. Okay, so that's going to that route. Let's add another destination and pick up. Uh, what do we want? We want pick up um, charcoal. And we want five. And then here we want to drop off. Okay, so that should now. Delete that. Add destination. No. Okay. So add destination. We want charcoal. Should pick up actually. Let's let's get some charcoal being made over here. Um, we've got one hovel. Let's get a cottage done here. Now, this could be interesting because that will need... Oh, no dragon. That will need stone, and we haven't got stone over here. So we can only build our hovels. And get those done. Okay, so they're delivering food. And we can get our... Okay. Let's put well back in. So really we could do with getting... Let's change, see whether we can change this one. So pick up stone. Drop off. See whether. Nope, that's not changing. Okay, that's strange. All right, so we've got um, over here. We have got fifteen beds, and we've got two idle people. We've got f um, fifteen population as well. So we can, if we put in here, forest that we need stone for that so now actually okay so unnamed island it tells us how much we've got we come over here onto this island and it shows us our other unnamed island and then if we go to our third island it's hovering over it it tells us what we've got over there as well cool and if we're on this one, what does it say about this one? Okay, so that is just classed as this one because we've got it connected with the bridge. And those can't be connected at all. Okay, cool. So that's basically the updates. Um, we've got uh, a lot more, I believe, coming through from the team uh, in future months. Uh, so stay tuned for future developments. That's Murphy out.